What is up guys, it's your boy Steady Chaos. So if you have been following my channel or are subscribed to my channel, you'll know that I have a lot of LG C10 content. I've had my LG C10 since April of 2020, so it's been exactly one year now. It's my first OLED ever and it's been an absolutely wonderful experience. In fact, it's been so good that I've already pre-ordered the 48 inch LG C1. Hopefully that comes in the next two weeks. Be on the lookout for that, I will have an unboxing for sure on my channel. But anyway, on my LG C10 now, we're almost at 3,000 hours. So like I said, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that at every 1,000 hours, I do a burn-in test for you guys on my panel. So at 1,000 hours, we did a burn-in test and there was no burn-in. At 2,000 hours, we did a test and there was no burn-in. So here we are at 3,000 hours. And to be exact, if you hold down the gear button on your remote and you go down to support, and then you come over to TV information, you'll see I'm at 2,975 hours. So not quite 3,000, but close enough. So one thing you should know about this TV is it is the absolute center of my entertainment universe here in my man cave. I use it for PlayStation 5 console gaming. I use it for PC gaming with the RTX 3080. I use it for web browsing, movie streaming, 4K Blu-rays on the PS5, productivity, email, uh, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Word, all that stuff. And I do not baby this TV. Of course, I'm not reckless with it. I have a screensaver. I let it run automatic pixel refresh. I, I use pixel shift, logo luminance adjustments at the low, those basic settings. But I don't baby this TV. I use it how I see fit, whenever I feel like using it. I use it for hours on end. I play the same game with the same HUDs for hours on end. I, I really want this TV to be a guinea pig for you guys who are on the fence and unsure if you should spend your hard earned dollars on an OLED TV or not. So uh, part of the reason why also I don't baby this TV is because I bought the extended warranty from Best Buy. So if something happens with this TV where it gets image retention or heaven forbid it gets burn in, then I can always take it to Best Buy and exchange it for a newer model because Best Buy does cover uh, burn in with their extended warranty. So what I'm gonna do here for this test is if you come to my channel and you can scroll down on the video section and you'll see this video right here, burn in image retention test for OLED panels. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, it's only three minutes, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on that, I'm gonna take this camera and I'm gonna set it right in front of the TV and I'm gonna watch this burn in test real time with you guys and we're gonna look for any kind of image retention, any kind of dead or stuck pixels, any kind of burn in, heaven forbid, and when the test is over, we'll talk about it. All right guys, we'll see you on the other side of this test. Stay tuned.
All right, so the burn-in test is complete and I didn't see anything. Uh, the test looked clear. Uh, I feel like if you're gonna see burn-in, I say this every time I run a burn-in test, but if you're going to see burn-in or image retention on an OLED panel, I feel like you're gonna see it in that 5% to 10% grayscale window or pattern, and I didn't see anything there. My screen uniformity on this panel has always been pretty good. I don't have any tinting. I know a lot of people with their OLEDs, they have some red or yellow tinting on one half of their screen. I don't have any of that. My, my uniformity is generally quite good with this TV, and it continues to be good with this TV. So, I mean, I guess the one thing that we can take away from this at 3,000 hours with, you know, extensive usage in all scenarios, gaming, productivity, web browsing, is that if you want a TV that has perfect blacks, that has VRR and G-Sync, is a gamer's dream, has really fast input lag, has one millisecond pixel response time, has 99% DCI-P3 color coverage, with 71 to 72% Rec 2020 color coverage. If you really want to have a panel that is really the Swiss army knife of all TVs, then do not hesitate to buy yourself an LG C10 or even a C9 if you can still find it at a really cheap price. Or you could, if you haven't gotten an OLED to date, you could look at the Sony A90J, you could look at the LG G1, the LG C1, or even the A1, which is the, the cheapest model that's coming out soon from LG. These TVs are, they're in my opinion, they're so superior to LED. So yeah, um, when the C1 comes, which I have pre-ordered already, I got the 48 inch version of the LG C1 coming. It's gonna be delivered sometime in mid-April. Be on the lookout for that. I will certainly do an unboxing. But when that comes, that's gonna take the place of my C10. My C10 is gonna go up into the bedroom. But even so, I'm gonna to continue to monitor the performance of my C10. Once we get to 4,000 hours, I will do another burn-in test. And on the C1, I will also do a burn-in test every 1,000 hours to keep you guys up to date. All right, guys? If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more content like this. And until next time, guys, we will see you later. Peace.